the deer finally come out in the daytime. Now you guys get. Go on, Charlotte. They jump up in the window, they'll scare them. Finally get to see them. How come she's not coming? Here she's coming now. God, he took her flying. She's staying though. Come on, get the apples. Come on. Still more apple. He took her flying. There, she's away flying in the woods now too. Bet the dog barked. Are they ever going? Yeah. Yeah. I bet the dog barked or something. It's just about five o'clock here. <clears throat> so, oh, it might have been, you know what it might have been? That stupid flag. Take the flag in. That's exactly what probably was the flag flapping out. I shouldn't have it out in the winter anyway. So there's still apples left. Were they ever flying through the woods? Yeah. Well, anyway, I got to see them for a little bit. Sure it was. My neighbor went out there. I'm going to take this flag in. See, that's flapping, see? Yeah. And that would cause them to, to get scared. So, uh, get in there, yo. Get in. Put that over here under the road. We don't need that out. Not this time of year. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to set this up here. There we go. Put the inside light on. Come here, Connor. Come here. Come here to see the people. Come here. Come on. <clears throat> Ready? Here we go. This is the Connor cat. Anyway, I had, uh, I just got to the hospital yesterday. Yes, I did, didn't I? He was messing me. I had arterial fibrillation. I was going 180 beats a minute, and uh, the hospital staff were very good to me. They uh, put the EKG stuff on me right away, and they put IV in me, and they, there was uh, needles that they had to, uh, to slow push into my system. It's supposed to slow my heart rate down. Uh, they got it down to, uh, to 130, and then it was jumping from... 80 to 130. My normal rate 65 to 70. So anyway, uh, it was scary. Yeah, it was, Connor. Because uh, I was up all night watching the monitors, and then about four in the morning, the the doctor came by and he he told me that. Okay, get down there. Get. He told me that uh, <clears throat> the drugs weren't going to do the job, and that they had to shock me. So. Uh, they got me prepared to be shocked and uh, you know they don't use those uh, you know the paddles they don't use them anymore they uh, they put a um, a big pad on here that's stuck on and they put one on my back and then they hooked me up to the crash cart machine and uh, but they they knocked me out and uh, when they did that I didn't feel anything they shocked me 
and when I woke up my heart rate was back to 70 and stayed like that ever since and uh, the uh, it was scary there for a while and I should have I should have went in earlier but I was gonna lay back and in the chair and maybe relax and maybe it will settle down he said if I'd done that I wouldn't be here today talking to you so <clears throat> but uh, so uh, the one that uh, shocked me, uh, she told me that uh, when they did hit me, I rise up off the gurney. But I didn't know nothing because they, they knocked me out and uh, to do that. But anyway, um, after that was all done, the doctor said that um, uh, they're going to monitor me for a few more hours and then they let me go because everything, everything stayed normal. It has stayed normal ever since. But I'm on a new pill now that... Uh, regulates my heart rate and uh, it also uh, my druggist told me that it, it slows your heart rate but it'll slow you down too so I'm not as um, keen to go jumping in and do stuff. That's my problem is I when I work around the yard and everything and shovel snow I act like I'm a teenager and I'm 68 years old and so that doesn't work anymore. I'll be 68 this uh, coming July. So anyway, that's where it stands right now. Uh, not allowed to do anything for a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, my neighbor next door, he's been coming out, come over and get my mail and everything. The only thing I was doing, I put uh, the apples out for these fellows outside, and that's the only job I did. And that's just a matter of cutting up a few apples and putting them in a bucket and just dumping them. Anyway, so anyway, I want to thank everybody for all the well wishes I got. Um, I want to thank all my YouTube people for uh, for getting up and getting that guy off of Instagram. You know, Google wasn't doing anything about it or Facebook. I think Facebook handles Instagram. They weren't doing anything about it. I complained and complained and complained. So then when I appealed to you guys on YouTube, uh, there was thousands and thousands of people who uh, went after this guy and he's gone altogether. The site has completely gone off Instagram and he's no longer collecting money any from anybody anymore. So you guys did a great job. And I want to thank uh, Biggie Art Mouse for putting that video, the uh, Forget Well video she did. That was very nice. And I want to thank the staff at the Aberdeen Hospital Emergency, especially uh, 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 Dr. Uh, oh God, I'll think of him in a minute, but there was uh, the nurses and uh, the doctors that worked on me. They, uh, Dr. Schneer was the first one, then I had another doctor later on. I didn't catch his name. And uh, there was a young uh, paramedic. She's a uh, a trainee. <clears throat> she she sat mostly with me uh, throughout the night. Anything I needed, she was there at my beck and call, got me to the bathroom and everything. And uh, and Catherine, who was drawing the blood from me, she recognized me right away as being the raccoon whisperer. So I gave uh, postcards out to them with my uh, my uh, picture being surrounded by the raccoon. So. But I want to thank them for all the work they did and uh, and getting me well again. So uh, the the young paramedic, I think her name was Lauren. I think she said her name was Lauren. And uh, thank her for for her patience with me and uh, and the nurse that did did the IV push and everything to to get my heart rate down. And Lauren also got to push the button, which jumped me off the table. <laughs> She said uh, it was her first time ever trying that, so they, because she was getting trained and all that stuff, and she did the EKG on me too, and they also X-rayed me. They they put me through the whole nine yards. So anyway, I'm gonna take it easy from now on, and I uh, just want to post this video uh, now that I got the the deer coming. So I don't know what spooked them. I think it was probably that flag. So I got the flag in now. Anyway, I guess, uh, well, somebody's over here waiting. Just a second, I'll just flip this over again. Somebody's over here waiting. <clears throat> what do you want? 
What is it you want? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry too. It's, it's five after five. I had nothing to eat. Connor Cat. Connor, are you hungry? Are ya? There's Charlotte. Are you hungry, Charlotte? Are ya? There she goes. Are you hungry? Charlotte. Charlotte. <clears throat> yes. And we got dog food delivery. And the big box here. And there's not two more coming. Um, and we got these cookies were delivered. Lady Sarah Vanilla Cookies. Thank you very much. So I'll have to freeze those until um, the raccoons come back out again. And I'm still getting um, Christmas cards. I got a big pile of them on my desk. I think I still got to open them. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, all your well wishes and your Christmas cards and gifts and. Here we are at the end of January and we're still getting it. <laughs> Connor Cat. Connor. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Are you a Connor Cat? Are you? Are you a good boy? And there's Charlotte. Hi Charlotte. What you doing girl? Charlotte, look. You good girl. Are you a good girl? Alright people, thank you very much and we shall talk to you later.